Welcome back. Our first guest tonight, he's only been rapping for a little over a year now, but despite that, he's been able to generate quite a fan base. He's not a surfer, although his up-and-coming mixtape, Silver Surfer, will be available to stream on platforms such as SoundCloud, Apple Music, Google Play, and many other more. Please welcome from Los Angeles, California, Almighty Suspect. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is pretty interesting. The first time you met, which was during the pre-interview process, mm -hmm. I asked you to give me three interesting facts about you. Do you remember what those were? Uh, I think the first one was I'm a Giver or something like that. The second one was uh, it's a pimp. Uh, <laughs> the third one was like I ain't had no tattoos. That's right. And I look at your arm now. And it says Almighty Millionaires. Now, before yeah. I ask you to give us a rundown of that as a whole, where did your name Almighty Suspect come from? Uh, shit, for anybody around my age, any real nigga know <laughs> that the most popping game was Def Jam, Fiverr Vendetta, New York, period. Okay. And <laughs> when you unlock all the characters, the last nigga, the great character, he got all the stats and he's socking shit. And his name's Suspect. <laughs> So I was like, that's nice player. Okay. Anyways, and then Almighty, like, I mean, God. So, like, you know, just threw the gap together. Almighty Suspect. Almighty Suspect. Now, yeah. what is Almighty Millionaires exactly? Almighty Millionaires is a record label. It's my homies, me. It's a clothing line. Uh, and shit. Yeah, that's it. Do you have any clothes put out? Yeah. They come in. I just got my screens made today, which is basically how you put it on the shirt. So. Right. I should have them done by like three days from now. So we're gonna start shipping them like next week. Now it's a record label. How many artists, do you have artists signed to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Almighty Benji. I got Almighty Slim. I got Almighty YB. Uh, oh, I got, we got, we got, you know, my little homie, little, little AS, you feel me? Little Almighty Suspect. Okay. And then, um, shit. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, now do you have any, any records with these artists? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some music with Almighty Benji. I got like two songs with Benji. I got a song with Slim, but I ain't got no song with the rest of them yet. But we're going to have like Almighty Millionaire mixtape okay. all together, so they're going to be on it. What are the names of the songs that you have out with these artists? Uh, Me, uh, me and Almighty Benji, we got No Yees out. We got Ball Shit. We got That's It with Benji. With Slim, I got uh, Break the Hole. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Now, no yees. What is a yee? A yee is like a buster, <laughs> uh, like not a G, a nigga that's turning down phase, <laughs> a nigga that's running from phase. It's just like a plethora of things that a yee could be, but it ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> now, when did you say, you know, I'm almighty suspect and I'm a rapper? When, when did that come about? Man, I've really, really been... I've been playing with rapping my whole life, but I took it serious like a year ago. So like, like last, well, shit, it's probably been like a year and a half now. So that's when I was like, I'm on my sex pick, and I'm finna do this shit. Now, were you out of jail by then, or what yeah, was the yeah, I was like fresh out of jail. I was on CDP with the ankle monitor on, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, fresh out, and then I was like, you know, it's just time to do something. Uh -huh. Nigga was finna have a baby. And shit, I was broke, so I was like, we gotta do something. Right. And, you know, start now, making strips. When you were in in when you were locked up, were you rapping in jail? Something like that, but like it wasn't nothing how it was now. But yeah, I was rapping. I, I, I for sure, for sure, yeah. I came home with like some 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 notebooks of raps, okay. but like I wasn't popping or nothing. Uh -huh. You feel me? It was just that's what you do. I feel like everybody do that when they go to jail, just start rapping. Even niggas who are not rappers, like. Just to waste time. It ain't shit to do. Fight, read, rap, squeak. <laughs> now, isn't that where you Eat met? too, for sure. Okay. Now, isn't that where you met uh, Frosty the Snowman? Yeah, yeah, the rapper. yeah. That, that's where I met Frosty, yeah. Now, I know you guys aren't on the best of terms right now. I think we all want to know what's going on. Shit. You guys um, have some tracks together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy. That's been my boy. You feel me? And I ain't never know Harry. You feel me? That's my nigga, bro. They didn't did a gang of shit for me, but you feel me? Fuck yees. Okay. Yeah. That's all that's Nothing else. Yeah, that's it. Fuck yees. Yeah. 
Keep them. <laughs> Keep them. I ain't hanging with no yees. I ain't fucking with no yees. If these niggas acting dumb, then I'm probably finna squeeze them. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was the first track you put out with him? Uh, it was up like a year and a half ago. I should probably got like a half a million uh, views on, 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 uh, on YouTube and shit like that. Okay, half a million, that's a lot of views. Yeah, now, yeah, right yeah. now, I know you have 17K on Instagram. 18, I hit 18 this morning. Okay. Yeah, let them okay. know. I think it was because of the, the party? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's probably, yep, it's the party. <laughs> you feel me? Now, yeah. you have 18K on Instagram. Yeah. What were the followers like back then? Duke. <laughs> probably had, like, maybe... Probably had like a maybe a thousand or a couple thousand before I was rapping. If that player like like two K, he paid for him. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> he so, you a thousand people knew the pen. You know? Do you remember your first time performing on stage? First time performing on the stage. Yeah, I performed in Lamar Park. Okay. Uh, I was like thirteen, or like twelve. Twelve. Yeah, I was hella young. Okay. Yep, yep, like, like, like 13 or something like that. Did you have your own records back then, or were you doing covers? Yeah, I had my own, my own music, like, I because I always grew up with a studio in my house, but it's not like I was putting it out. I'm going up on the internet or nothing like that. I was just rapping. I thought I was hard. <laughs> but, like, nobody else did. You didn't have a fan base back then? Hell no. Now, what's the craziest performance story you have? Craziest performance story I had, 54th and Van Ness. Uh... I call that shit like, bro, like, like, like the Project X type shit. Like, me and me and that nigga Snow was performing, and um, it was like, it was like a backyard type thing. We was in there, the party was going up, um, bitches was fighting all through the party. Like niggas was fighting. Once we on stage, we on the roof rapping because it ain't no stage. It's like a backyard type shit. <laughs> we on stage, well, we on we on top of the roof. Helicopter come, that's the motherfucker like come down, swarm on us, the lights on us. Police start like swarming in the alley and shit, trying to get us out of that, trying to get us out the party. All type of shit, motherfuckers start swarming, running, climbing over other motherfuckers, fighting, trying to get out because they ain't trying to go to jail. All type of shit, that shit was crazy. But yeah, that was probably the craziest one, yeah. But what ended up happening? <laughs> shit, uh, me and that nigga Snow made a great motherfucking escape, hopped off the, uh, the roof of the house. And then uh, we had like like snuck through the front house, and then we had just hopped in the car and we had got on. So you made it out okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky we did, but a lot of people went to jail. Oh God, I've seen people going to jail for sure. And now your up and coming mixtape, uh, Silver Surfer. What, yeah, what can we expect from it? Silver Surfer is gonna be the greatest mixtape to ever drop in the history of music. Um, I don't think that the streets is that, ready for me. That's a lot to claim. <laughs> yeah. You feel but me? you're ready. This is you're standing be behind that, that damn title. Skippy, dude. <laughs> this is him right here. Uh, do you have any features that do have yeah, on it yeah, that we yeah. And that's what I'm really doing. So I'm trying to get everybody in the city on my tape. I got Donnie Loke on there. I got No Way from the Eye from Long Beach on here. Uh, I got Ralphie the Plug on there. Okay. I got Benji on there. You feel me? Uh, shit. I got Pablo Skywalking on there. Okay. You feel me? Uh, shit, and a couple of motherfuckers I ain't gonna, you know, release. But yeah, it's some exclusive Gerber content on that. Y'all gotta for sure go buy the Silver Surfer tape when that shit drops. It's gonna be on iTunes, Google Play, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You feel me? Now, how did you get in contact with a rapper like Pablo Skywalker who's in a different state? Uh, I think it's cause I seen him um, in Detroit playing, playing one of me and Snow songs and shit. And I had hit, bro, like, 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 we see you, feel me, fucking with the movement and shit. And, bro, he be like, yeah, love, you got to work, da 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 I'm okay. like, for sure, like, feel me, let's work. I hit, bro, like, feel me, I'm finna send you a song. He, like, send it. So, yeah, me and Roby FaceTiming and shit, that's the homie. Now, um, I was on your Instagram, and a lot of rappers charge for features, yeah. and they charge for music videos. Uh -huh. You charge for... SoundCloud, SoundCloud repo. repo. <laughs> now, yeah, bro. where did that come from? Look, you gotta get it in, bro. Like, I got like 10, 10,000 followers on SoundCloud. Okay. And for rappers who who trying to get their views up and they up and coming, why not? It just make more sense. I got the fan base, you got the music, and if your music hard, this is what I always say. Can't nobody help you make it, they can only open the door. To, to to let you make yourself make it, you feel me? So okay. I can't put them on, but I can open the door so other motherfuckers can hear them, and if they hard, 
people are gonna like them. Now, how much do you charge? I charge a hundred <laughs> for two songs, but like by the end of the summer, it's finna be two hundred for the girl. A hundred for two songs. Yeah. Now, but it ain't no one song deal either. So okay, it ain't no fifty dollars. It's like, oh, so it's two for two for hundred. It's one for fifty. No, like, if it's one song, it's still a hundred. So if somebody had one song, you're still gonna charge them a hundred. No fifty yeah. dollar deal. Hell no. So basically, like I don't a, want fifty dollars, nigga. I need the blue strip. <laughs> so basically, this is a combo deal. Yeah, combo girl. Almighty suspect. Everybody, stick around. Thanks for watching. If you like that, stop pushing your mom's buttons and click the subscribe button. Your bottom wouldn't be as red. And if you happen to want to be a guest on the show, make sure you follow both myself and the show on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Bo Jackman and on Twitter at Jackman Bo. And you can find the show's page at Talk Night Live on both Instagram and Twitter. I'll post information on how to submit an inquiry form. So check us out and look out for that. There aren't many free things in this world, but subscribing is. So just do it.